Hello, today I'm going to be talking about 3D printed parts like this bobbin for the Electric Eel Wheel Nano 2. Now before I get into the details of what 3D parts are available, I want to talk a little bit about my philosophy and, and why I offer these parts available for free. And it really comes down to what I think is best for people in my community. I think that some people are going to appreciate having these parts. You know, you can print them in any color you want. So I can't injection mold all of my parts in every color that people want. But with 3D printed parts, you can have them made in any color you want. So you have that kind of custability. I also just like the idea of being able to 3D print my own parts. And so if I had an e-spinner, this is something I would want. Uh, it's certainly not going to maximize my profit, but I make a fair profit when I sell the e-spinner and I just like to enable the community to do what they want with the thing that they've bought for me. So that's why I make the files available for free. I even offer it under a, a license where people can sell the files and modify them. All they have to do is give credit back to my original files and that's mainly there so that if people do start selling them, I don't want people to think that there's not another way to get them. If they happen to have a 3D printer, I want people to always be able to find the original files and 3D print them. Now that said, I know a lot of people don't have 3D printers and some of those people will go to the library, but some people just want to order them online. And I am really happy that there's a large community of people and businesses that have popped up around the electric eel wheel community. So if you know nothing about 3D printing, there's various ways to get these files and I'll have a link to a page on my website which lists some of the stores that sell my, the parts that I've designed and I get nothing for those parts. I'm just giving you links to stores that um, people have told me make the parts and the community seems to like. So they're pretty reliable places to get them. So with that said, let's get into the different 3D printable parts that I've made available for the Electric Eel Wheel Nano 2. So the first part that's available is a 3D printed bottom case. Now this is the case that I made for the Electric Eel Wheel Nano 1 and it does work with the Nano 2. Uh, the positioning of the holes are the same, but I've made several improvements here based on user feedback. So this is the new one. Uh, one of the changes that I made was I put a gap in the bottom here and the reason for that is a lot of people wanted to see the lights on the battery packs that they're using. Uh, so if you put the battery pack in upside down on this one, you can now see the lights. Um, I also replaced the metal screws with little plastic tabs and not having the screws is just one less thing that you have to worry about getting when you get uh, print the bottom cover. Also, because of how I've uh, positioned these uh, little plastic tabs, they really slot on well and it doesn't fall off. So there's not as much adjustment. It's basically print and you're ready to go. So the way this case works is you plug in the battery like that and then this cable will come with it. And at this point, you're ready to go. Another nice thing is I added these little keyhole slots in the bottom. So if you wanna use the suction cups that come with the Nano 2 on this case, it's pretty easy. You just slot them in like that and then you can have it sit on the suction cups. Uh, but a nice thing with the battery is that it adds enough weight that it doesn't slide around quite as easily. So it's sort of up to you whether you wanna have those or not. I also adjusted several of the dimensions just a little bit to make it a bit nicer and look a little better. But um, like I said, if you've already got the bottom cover for the Nano 1, you can keep using it, but uh, if you don't have a bottom cover and you want to 3D print one, I'd probably go with this one. It seems a little bit better in many small ways uh, than the previous version. Some other things that you can 3D print are, of course, the bobbins. And a really nice thing about 3D printing bobbins is that you can get them printed in any color, which I do not offer any color because with injection molding, you, you really need to go with large batches of items when you're printing them. But um, that's not true at all with 3D printing. So it's pretty easy to make any color that's uh, available. And there are many different colors of 3D printed plastics out there. And uh, that's pretty much all it is. The bobbin works very similar to the original. I did make some small changes. 
it's threaded, but to make it uh, easier to print, I, I made it flat on this side. And what I do is I print it like that, and I need to have just a few little supports right here to hold that piece up. You break those off, and then everything screws together. I also adjusted the threads a few times to get them much easier to um, screw together than your standard threads. I had to increase some tolerances and hopefully it'll work with most 3D printers. I tried it on two different 3D printers and it worked great on both of those. So hopefully people won't have any problem screwing this one. I know that some of my past parts uh, had issues where some people couldn't screw them together very easily. So I definitely gave it some more forgiving tolerances on the threads for this particular item. Uh, another thing you can 3D print are hooks. And again, this is something that I can see a lot of people going a, a little bold with the colors or, or wanting different colored hooks. But yeah, these will work excellent. Like I think the, the hooks themselves will work just as well as the original hooks. Uh, it doesn't have quite the same finish. I'm not, you probably can't see it on the video. The injection molded ones are going to be a little bit smoother, but uh, these are perfectly functional and you can get them in any color. Uh, whoops. Another item that I made available is the reducer, the orifice reducer. And I, I adjusted this so the one that ships with it comes with these o rings, but uh, I think that for printing at home, uh, it's fine to not have those, and it just is a, a nice fit here. Um, and you can sand it or add a little tape if the fit isn't perfect, but um, I did a couple of prints, and the fit's pretty good with these, so hopefully people will like this. I made a new tension dial as well, um, so for that you would just unscrew the current one, so one screw. Um, gets removed here, and then you can put the new tension knob, and also there's a, a motor pulley. So for that, you would just take off the original and put the new one on, and you'd be good to go. Those are the uh, files I've made available for the Nano at this time, and I'll have links to where you can print them and my page that sort of explains how you can get them made, um, whether that's, you know, printing them yourself, you know, going to your library or uh, paying someone online to print them for you. There's uh, lots of options. Um, but again, all of these are just optional uh, parts that let you sort of customize your Nano and none of it's necessary. The Nano, of course, ships with all of these parts uh, that you need to spin, and this is just a, a way of customizing if that's something that interests you. Thanks for watching.